Okay, so we're here with Andrew Trichetta, who played Jack Manning on One Life to Live for over a year, which was your first professional job. Yes. Why don't you talk a little bit about that experience and how um, how that came about? Well, uh, how it came about, I've been, uh, I'd had my, my manager for a couple years. When I was little, I just did like small modeling things, like print ads, stuff like that. And then uh, I told her I wanted to start getting into like TV, film commercials, stuff like that. And uh, I started out, I got like one really tiny Ruby Tuesdays commercial that like you saw half of my hand in or something like that. And then like a few years later I got a ring pop commercial and like that was like two years ago I got a ring pop commercial. And then I auditioned for got I got an audition for this one life thing and I just expected it to be like a three day like just a few episodes. I didn't expect it to be like a actual set part that would like be a recurring role. Right. So when I found that out when I found that out I was kinda like I was really excited because I had like a persistent job now. Like it wouldn't just be three days and you're done. Right. It's just like continuous, so it'd be it was cool. And uh, how did you juggle that with you know since you are so young? Mm -hmm. How did you juggle that with trying to you know do the normal growing up stuff? So you had to commute um, back into the city. You're from yeah, South commuting, Jersey. Commuting back and forth was hard. Like of course I'd be exhausted by the end of the day. Like I'd wake up at five take a train get there at like eight seven thirty and then get home at ten nine o'clock at night yeah so during the week i was basically shot and then the weekends i would just hang out with my friends like a normal weekend right basically what was the hardest part of working on the show um working on the show the hardest part i think would be juggling the show with school because mm -hmm. i I kept myself up to date with what I would have been doing in normal high school. So I got all my courses done. I went to school and had a full-time acting job at the same time, which is, I guess when you think about it, it'd be pretty hard. What did you learn on One Life that's going to help you now throughout your career? Uh, the Basically, the rate of memorizing lines, like the quickness of it all, just how fast and exact like you, you're expected to do it quickly and you're expected to do it efficiently, which is probably like one of the best things. Like you want to catch on to it really quickly, learn as much as you can, as quickly as you can, and then get it done so you can move on to the next thing. Did any of your co-stars give you advice that you've taken with you now that the show has ended? Yeah, just like bits and pieces along. Like every scene, you learn something different. Like. Um, depending on everyone you're working with, whether it's like the veteran actors or whether it's working with like the kids like Austin or Chanel or whatever. Right. And now what what advice now can you offer to people who are starting out in the business now that you were established yourself and mm -hmm. you know, you had a big part in the show. Yeah. Um, try to get just like get yourself into it like a lot. Get get yourself parts, even if it's just in like local theater groups, mm -hmm. like always be exposing yourself so you can learn and like even just reflect on yourself and then um you could always do like workshops and classes they have tons of those in the city so those are great they help a lot and then uh i had something but i forget what i was going to say now <laughs> and uh what are you looking to do now that one life's over i know you, you went back yeah, to high school I'm back but... in high school officially back in high school and definitely gonna finish high school mm -hmm. so I've been auditioning most of them I've gone into the city a few times for auditions but a bulk a pretty good percentage of them have been like self tape and then send them in mm -hmm. probably because they're not based out of New York so I've been doing a couple of those type of auditions but I'm hoping to get something yeah how hard has that transition been going from the steady acting employment to going back to high school and it's what advice do you have for somebody who's actually going through it since you're going through it now yeah. is, you know it's um it's a big difference like going from being home or mm -hmm. in the city every day to waking up and going to school it's a uh, it's like it's kind of cool like being back like since I was at school and then I left and then I came back mm -hmm. it's like you kind of change your view on things like it's not just school you're like actually going there 
to actually learn things. Like you're not just showing up every morning, right. putzing around all day. You actually want to get stuff done and get out of there knowing something. It's almost like you have a more of an appreciation for it. Yeah, yeah. And so what projects are you looking to pursue now that you've done the soap? Are you looking to do more theater? Are you looking to film and television? Definitely film, TV, commercial, mm -hmm. something like that. I mean, I I wouldn't, I don't necessarily, necessarily want to do theater, mm -hmm. but I enjoy it. But I, I want to stick to TV, film, stuff like that. All right, cool. Thank you so much for taking right. time to do this, Andrew. Thank you.